Hi, welcome. It's Kenny Russell, Bulldoze of Faith, Living Life in the Spirit. We're in West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, <laughs> Country Rome. <laughs> We've been having a great time here, just as we're sharing the life and the love of Yahovah. And I've got Josh with me right now. And Josh, um, we're here talking about the blessing of following his commandments and walking in his ways. Do you find it a joy to follow the commandments? Yeah. Um, actually, what's funny is uh, it's about 14 when my dad actually came across this. And um, one of the things that me and my, my dad had a lot of conversations beforehand is, um, you know, we actually were already keeping some of the laws. And I had my own questions about well, why we keep some of them, and not other ones. Right. Um, and, you know, this that conversation started since I think uh, my dad said when I was four, we were cutting down a tree. And, he, and I, I said, yeah, I want to be you know, one Jesus in the heart and uh -huh. all these, you know, normal Christian conversation. That yeah. You had. And, um, you know, it caused a lot of conflict while I was growing up because, you know, you had people that didn't believe they would question that. They would go, well, why do you keep one thing and not the other? Right. And I didn't have an answer. So I had some conflict there and there was a while where, um, you know, I, I put my Bible down for a while and kind of tried to reflect on what I was doing with this, with the walk. Uh -huh. what, was, what did the walk look like? And, um, and then uh, at 14, my dad uh, read this book. It was Messianic Rising. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, my dad is a, a hard man, and I saw him break down and start crying. And I didn't understand what happened, so, I, you know, I walked up to him, and, you know, I asked him, I said, you know, why, why, why are you crying? Why are you upset? And he goes, everything I believed was, was a wasn't right just I mean, messed the mark completely yeah wow. he just it, he was shattered i mean it wasn't like he lost his faith or anything it was right just, it was he was he was boggled by the whole thing it's important what you said there you know people think you know you go back to torah what did you lose your faith you didn't lose your faith we're talking about coming back to the fullness of yeshua so what happened after that so basically after that um you know we started um, my, my dad went out and actively pursued and at the time when he read that book we had stopped attending church we, we uh -huh. felt like it it didn't really accomplish what we were trying to go there for, and um, so he started actively pursuing for this the, uh, a place where we could get some education on this this new look on the scriptures. Scripture, yeah, man. And uh, we ended up finding a place. Um, I started attending, and you know, I, I still kind of had the whole Christian mentality at church. You kind of show up, you sing some songs, and you go <laughs> home, and you go back to video games, or you know, play thinking about football or practicing or something like that, and. Um, you know, we started doing, you know, s singing the Shema together, uh -huh. and um, we started kind of getting into the, the 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 boldness of it and the thickness of it, and um, I started to get interested. I started to finally see kind of a a way to go, like, okay, so th there is a growing process, there is a relationship to build, and there is something to learn. Mm -hmm. It's not just, you know, you know, we're all saved by grace, we can do whatever we want, and it doesn't matter what we show people, we're saved, and, you know, it's just under the blood, you know? Yeah. Uh, this grace is this ticket just to get us out of anything that we face. Yeah, and I, wow. that didn't make sense to me. So, you know, when I started seeing this, I was like, wow, you know, that's that's amazing. That's something I can really sink my teeth into kind of thing. And so basically from there, you know, it led on. And, you know, to answer the question really and all, the joy really came from the fact that it gave me purpose. It, there was purpose Amen. to the walk. And, um, you know, uh, it's and I started seeing it. I went to college. I, I did homeschooling for my whole life. You know, that was just how I decided I wanted to do it uh -huh. and uh, got to college and, um, you know, I watched uh, a lot of people who claim to have faith right. fall away and I realized I was able to stand on two feet because I had a good rock to stand because on. Because you had a solid rock to stand on. Yeah. Amen. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I, I was able to speak into people's lives and, um, you know, I mean, I have my own struggles. Mm -hmm. I'm human. I fail, you know constantly fighting the flesh but hey man you know when you, you got a purpose to it mm -hmm. there's a reason to fight back so. and we're also overcomers you know we are, we still understand our identity in yeshua the importance that that he is the example it says you know what would yeshua do yeah. um and you know when you say to people when they say you know they got the wwjd or whatever on their wristbands mm -hmm. uh what would jesus do you know, he would keep the commands, wouldn't he? Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Because if he didn't keep the commands, he couldn't be our Messiah. 
And that was very liberating for me to understand when people would say, why are you going back to that? Because this is what Yeshua went to. This is how he brought forth the promise when he became the Passover lamb. He was fulfilling a spring feast. He was showing who he was in that feast. And these things just bring us to life. Thanks for sharing. It's amazing because that's what it's all about. It's about simple faith. But what you said, which is really important, I want people to understand. Our brother here had a hunger for the truth and you pursued the truth. If you had just made a decision that you weren't going to pursue the truth, it wouldn't have mattered how much truth you had heard. You had to come to the place to seek the truth. And as you sought the truth, you knew it was life. And it says in the scripture, the knowing of the truth will set you free. Are you bound today and you have the grace perversion and all these different things around you and you go to church? Then I want to encourage you. It's time to get back to the truth. It's time to understand who you are and the reason you were born. And that is to be Israel, to understand that you are grafted into the household of Israel. doesn't matter where you're from. We come into the promises according to Scripture, and we live a life through the Scripture. Thanks for sharing with me. I appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.